an excellent resume has the power to open doors. In this episode, we will discuss about how I prepared my resume, how I made it impactful despite a low GPA in my undergrad. Welcome to the channel Curry Couple. This is the second episode of Curry Takeaway where we learn something new while having fun. Introduction, Amit. Before we deep dive, could you share the very basics of resume that you keep in mind? Of course. There are five things that I keep in check while designing my resume. Number one, I keep my resume to one page because I have less than 10 years of professional experience. I'll make it two pager uh, once I cross 10 years of professional experience and I'll reserve the second page to communicate any professional achievements or highlights. Point number two, I uh, follow the rule of three in writing. Uh, you will find this in any form of storytelling. You will find this in novels, poems and even advertisements. So uh, any information presented in this format is easily digestible. Point number three, I use Grammarly to proofread my resume. FYI, this video is not sponsored by Grammarly. I wish it was. Point number four, I keep my resume by chrome. So I use navy blue color uh, for headings. I use black color for any other text. Uh, this makes the resume look aesthetically pleasing and also professional at the same time. Point number five, I use PDF format when I'm submitting my resume. So this way my designs are not messed up. Now that we've nailed the basics, could you tell me how you design your resume and what are all the sections you include in it? Ah, resumes. No one picks a handful and reads them for pleasure. Uh, I make sure that the, my one page of resume tells a compelling story. A story of why I am the right candidate for the role I'm targeting. So I use different sections on my resume to make sure that this compelling story comes across clearly. I start with section 1. The contact details so this is very basic i have my first name my last name uh, my phone number uh, my email personal email id and a link to my linkedin profile the next section is the summary section this could be a total waste of space or a total game changer depending on who you ask so how do i make it a total game changer for myself I make sure that I summarize all my professional experiences, my skills in this section. So I usually keep three bullet points in the summary section. The first bullet point is a summary of my professional experience. I have, For example, I have something like, uh, I have six plus years of experience in financial analytics, budgeting and forecasting. My second bullet point would be a professional accomplishment that I try to align with the firm's culture that I'm targeting. My third bullet point would be a professional accomplishment that showcases an essential quality for the role I'm targeting. Next comes the skill section. Ideally, I try to put my skills in the professional experience section in between the narratives, but people may miss it in the first pass. So I make sure that I have a separate skill section. I list out all the hard skills that I have. It can be things like the languages I know, like SQL, VBA, and even DAX. Next, I also list uh, the tools that I use like Power BI, uh, Anaplan and Advanced Excel. I also put the techniques that I use while using the tools. It can be things like regression techniques, Monte Carlo simulations, etc. But I make sure that I do not include any soft skills. The soft skills should come out in the next section which is the professional experience section. This section should tell the compelling story of why I am the right candidate for the role I'm targeting. I'll dive into the details later, but holistically speaking, this section should list out all the transferable skills that I bring to the table. What are transferable skills? It's a good question and I'll answer that. But uh, let's start walking for now. Uh, we need to complete the trek before sunset.
really hard trek but I did not forget the question. So what are transferable skills? So transferable skills are the skills I am proficient in or something that I am working on in my current role and that can be applied to the role I am targeting. So in this compact space, I put in all my professional experience from the last three years and anything else beyond that goes in the bottom line. But uh, there's something to note here. What if I'm targeting a role that is outside my current industry? Uh, so in that case, I uh, learn uh, or like I find the essential skills required in that industry and then I go through all my previous professional experiences and I make sure that I highlight them. Another thing to note here is what if the role I'm targeting requires skills that I've worked in the past but not in the last three years. So in that case, I will look beyond the last three years. When I was a student, I would use this space to bring across my internship experience, my teaching experience or any academic projects. Next comes the education section. So in this section, I put uh, any degree or certificate that I have, the month and year of uh, obtaining the degree or certification or any, and any co coursework that is relevant to the role I'm targeting. Next comes the achievement section. So in this section, I highlight my professional, academic or non-academic achievements. For example, in my resume, I have something like uh, I attained third position among 16,000 participants in a global stock trading competition. If you can see, I'm trying to quantify things here so that my achievement comes across to the reader clearly. Next comes the additional information section. I try to keep it to a line or two at max and I use it to throw some light on my personality. It usually acts as a conversation starter, so I try to keep it humorous if possible. In my resume, I mentioned that uh, I once rapped in a college election speech and I've also mentioned that I'm a PC enthusiast and I build water-cooled PCs in my free time. On a whole, I prefer to use this vertical split because it looks sweet, but I also occasionally use the horizontal split, split that you can see here. Uh, anyway, all this trekking, talking and walking has made me hungry. Uh, there's a bench right there. Uh, would you like to go and grab a bite? Okay, so I have my battery recharged for one more question, shoot. You mentioned earlier in the video that you have a low GPA in your undergrad. So how do you make your resume more impactful? Okay, so there are three things I do to make my resume impactful. Uh, the first thing I do is network with people. So I reach out to people who are working in the role that I'm targeting or who are working in the industry that I'm targeting. So it's a time consuming process. I mean, I reach out to 10 people and probably one of them responds. But the information I get from them is enriching. I ask them questions about their uh, projects or their day-to-day -day work. And using that information, uh, I, I identify the skills required for that role. Number two, I spend time learning those skills. So uh, when I was a student, uh, I wanted to get into corporate finance. So again, I networked with people and then I realized I need to know certain skills. So I interned with a private equity firm where I got to learn uh, financial modeling, uh, economic simulation generation, negotiating business deals. Point number three would be to tailor my resume for that specific role. So here I immediately make the first point relevant to the position I'm applying. For example, I mentioned uh, forecasting or valuation in the very first bullet point when I'm applying for corporate finance roles. And in tailoring my resume, I use action verbs to amplify my soft skills. So these action verbs should amplify skills like leadership, team collaboration, or analytical thinking. 
for example uh, in my resume i use uh, something like analyzed x billion dollars of declining hardware data and proposed new methodology to generate y doll y million dollars of revenue this is how my resume looks like uh, at the end and one awesome thing about this resume is that it can be modified for any industry any role that i'm targeting so if you learn something today uh, hit a like hit the like button if you would like to stay updated with the curry takeaway series hit the subscribe button if you have any feedback or any questions leave them in the comment section so this is amit and neha signing off uh, we are the curry couple bringing some spice into your life thank you for watching the video bullshit dripping off the chain <laughs>